Okay, for a long, long time, I've loved the Apple headphones, but critically, I've loved them from a distance. And the reason for that is I've never got on board with the fit. There's something about it, it just doesn't feel comfortable and I'm constantly worried about it falling out of my ears. Not only that, but I have to crank up the volume of these headphones so loud to block out the outside noise. And I don't think that's good for my ear health. And so when Apple came out with the Apple AirPods Pro, a pair of wireless in-ear headphones, I had to get my hand on a pair. And that's for two crucial reasons. Firstly, as I said, the fit of in-ear headphones, I find amazing. It just feels so comfortable. I'm never concerned that they're gonna fall out of my ears. It just feels great. But the second major reason for having in-ear headphones is that these types of headphones benefit from what is called passive noise cancellation. The natural seal that's created by being in your ear will block out outside noise to a degree. And so that's another reason to love in-ear headphones. But the great thing about the latest technology in the Apple AirPods Pro is that they have active noise cancellation. Active noise cancellation is a mode that you can turn on by squeezing the stem of these AirPods Pro. The outside noise, the general sounds of your environment just kind of warp away. And when I first tried these headphones on, I was in the gym and the music, the sounds of weight clinking and just the atmospheric noise just disappeared. Like not completely, but it is so noticeable, especially when comparing it to my previous set of headphones, the Jabra Elites. And so that alone was the reason I wanted to switch and buy a pair of AirPods. And the cool thing about this is if you don't like that feeling or you need to be able to hear your peripherals, maybe you're on a bike, you're walking outside near cars and traffic, you squeeze the stem again and the outside noise comes in because to take advantage of these kind of mics on the surface of your earbuds. And so I love that design and the ability to switch modes. Just continuing to talk about the fit of these headphones, the other thing I really like about the Apple AirPods in particular is they kind of hold your hand in the experience of switching to in-ear headphones. When you first connect your AirPods Pro and go to the Bluetooth menu, there is an option to do an, an ear tip fit test. So what this does is it plays a small amount of sound in your ears for a few seconds and then it will give you the results and it will either say it is a good fit or if it's too loose and maybe some sound is kind of leaking then it will say it's too loose try a bigger silicon tip on your earbuds of which the AirPods Pro come with three different sizes and so you could swap them out test it again and make sure it's a good seal. Now you can't talk about headphones without referring to the audio performance. I always caveat my reviews of headphones with the fact that I'm not an audiophile. I'm an average everyday user of headphones, listening to music and podcasts. And for me, the AirPods Pro are great. They are better than your budget headphones where you can experience tinniness or uh, not very clear vocals or softened bass. All of those boxes of having a good music experience are ticked. And for those of you who are audiophiles and really want to put your headphones through the test, I've actually discovered on Spotify, they create their own playlist for testing headphones. And I'll put it up on screen now and you'll see it has a wide range of music, you know, songs with heavy bass, songs that emphasize vocals or all kinds of music there for you to test. The other major factor in deciding a pair of headphones for me at least, is the design of them. Now, just alone comparing the Jabra Elites to the AirPods case, you can see it is a smaller, more nimble, portable design. It fits in your pocket easier, it looks nicer, it's generally a better experience. And also, comparing the actual earbuds, I find that the AirPods look way slicker than the Jabra's. They just have this kind of slender profile to them. 
But the other aspect of design isn't just aesthetics, but it's kind of functional design. And like all wireless earbuds, the way to control your music is through some sort of button. Now, the Jabra Elites that I've previously reviewed, I mentioned how the button is on the surface of the ear. And so to pause, you push into your ear. And that actually experience is quite uncomfortable because you're pushing an object deeper into your ear. The benefit of the AirPods design is because it has this stem, they actually do the controls by squeezing this stem. And so you're not pushing anything to, into your ear, you're just doing a squeeze motion. And so it's squeeze once to play and pause, twice to skip forward, three times to skip backwards. And then as I mentioned, squeeze and hold to change from transparency mode and hear things or turn on active noise cancellation on the opposite. The only drawback to this functional design is that it does not have a volume control. And that's something I do miss occasionally. Like I said, when I'm in the gym, you kind of want to be hands-free. And if I need to change the volume for whatever reason, I have to get my phone out to do that. I say it's a drawback, but it's something that's easily overlooked because the benefit of the active noise cancellation is that no matter what the volume or sound of your environment, generally, if your volume is set right, you don't need to adjust it because it's blocking out that outside noise. And lastly, a comment on the battery life. It is a consideration when looking at wireless headphones is how long are they going to last me? And with the AirPods Pro, you're going to get about 24 hours and that's factoring in the charge from the case a few times and when comparing to competitors in the market that is on par and to me that is enough to say yes I'm happy with this product it is good because if you fact if you think about it if I'd have said or oh, it beats the market by an hour and it does 25 hours are you really going to notice that or value that extra hour. I think the fact that it lasts 24 hours and in real terms, from my experience, I have to charge it once a week, twice if I'm really, really intensely using it. And that really isn't much of a burden for your average everyday user. So overall, these headphones, I love them. I've been using them for the last few months and have really, really valued the active noise cancellation when commuting, walking outside, hitting the gym or in any noisy environment. Couple that with a good battery life, great aesthetic and functional design, and great audio performance. They make for a really good pair of wireless in-ear headphones. So that's everything from me. So if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. If you have any thoughts on the AirPods or anything you'd like to see from me, hit me up in the comments. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.